So we'll discuss about osteoarthritis. This is a slowly progressive non-inflammatory musculoskeletal disorder, but in the initial stages of osteoarthritis, we will have inflammation. Okay, then only it will become a degenerative process. It typically affects the joints of the hand, especially those involved in pinch grip. So first MTP is a common joint which is involved in, and again DAP is a joint which is involved in. When second to third, fifth, uh, fourth MT, second, third, fourth, and fifth MTP or MCP are involved, think of other causes like hyperparathyroidism, hemochromatosis, hypothyroidism. Okay, this is the most common articular disorder. Okay, which is characterized by joint pain, particularly after activity. It uh, causes crepitus and stiffness after mobility, immobility, and limitation of movements. So, RA inflammatory arthritis, non-inflammatory arthritis differ by the uh, amount of uh, stiffness, duration of stiffness. If it is less than 30 minutes in non-inflammatory, more than 30 minutes up to 1 hour, it is inflammatory. Again, it is character non-inflammatory arthritis will have a joint pain particularly after activity and stiffness after immobility that is called as gelling phenomena, gelling. Okay. The clinical sim joint symptoms are pathologically associated with the defects in articular cartilage. There is a loss of articular cartilage, focal loss of articular cartilage. In RA, there will be uniform loss of articular cartilage. In OA, it will be focal loss. Wherever this weight bearing, there will be loss. So, medial joints, uh, tibiofemoral compartment is the commonest thing to have articular cartilage loss. And there will be formation of osteophytes, which is a protective phenomena. It is a uh, re reaction to degenerating bone and there is subcontral sclerosis. There is no systemic symptoms and joint inflammation is very mild. So, these are the synonyms, other names, osteoarthrosis, degenerative joint disease, hypertrophic arthritis, degenerative disc disease in the spine and generalized OA is called as Kellegren syndrome. Generalized OA means you should involve more than four joints, spine, DAP, first MTP, uh, first MCP. If you have more than four joint involvement, it is called Kellegren syndrome. And there is a subset of OA called as erosive OA, where you will have erosion similar to uh, rheumatoid arthritis, but there are some differences in the erosions. Okay, that is called as Crane's disease. Erosive OA is a subset of OA. Under what circumstances can OA develop? OA can develop under two circumstances. One, a normal card bone with abnormal loading, example obesity, or an abnormal joint which has been inflamed due to secondary causes with the normal loading. Okay. So, when the cartilage gets damaged, there is release of danger associated molecular patterns which activate the innate immune system, there will be release of cytokines and other mediators, causes synovitis and then cartilage damage. Okay. What are the early pathological features of OA? It is first is swelling of the articular cartilage in an attempt to increase and uh, decrease the workload. So, the chondrocytes become hypertrophied. There is more workload on the cartilage. So, the chondrocytes become hypertrophied. So, the articular cartilage swells and there is loosening of the collagen framework. So, the cartilage is a mixture of collagen, proteoglycans and uh, water. Okay. So, the collagen framework is tightly bound. So, only it is maintained in position. There is loosening of the collagen framework. And the chondrocytes increase the proteoglycan synthesis in an attempt to uh, increase the uh, water content of the cartilage to make it hydrated. But in this process, they also release more degenerative and degradative enzymes. So, uh, there is initially increased water content and after some time, the water content decreases. Later stages, the degradative enzymes which are uh, secreted by the hypertrophic chondrocytes break down the proteoglycan faster than it is produced. So, there is a mismatch between production and supply. Okay. Uh, so, there is decreased proteoglycan content in the cartilage. Initially, there is increase. So, as the necessity increase, it cannot match with the necessity. So, there is a relative diminution in the proteoglycan. Uh, proteoglycans means hyaluronic acid and other. Articular cartilage thins and softens. This is visible as joint space narrowing in the radiogram. There will be cracks or fissures in the cartilage. 